The Inside Out Project is a participatory, uh, worldwide art project. The Inside Out Project incorporates large portraits hung in public spaces, and I think this is very important to my students and really all of the, the Burmese that who live along the border because they are very much a, a people who, who don't have a voice, who maybe are not seen, uh, certainly don't have many means of expression, yet they predominate. They're the majority of the population here, yet, yet they, they live in the shadows. Uh, they live silenced, and this gives an opportunity to supersize them, to blow them up large and redefine the community and redefine the area. The specific objective of the project is to try to identify the, uh, the life of migrant students in Thailand uh, because the life is very horrible here. Some kids, some children, they don't even know what is their identity. We want to bring the voice and we want uh, the world people to know their life and to know the reality among them. For the young kids, I think it's very important. Some of them uh, have actually grown up their whole lives here. Uh, they may be stateless, uh, yet they feel like they have no home, that they have no place. And when you put large portraits of them and their friends and other young kids, you define the space as belonging to them. May I know your name, please? <laughs> My name is Nastasia. Uh, I'm here to help with the Inside Out project. Do you think you know po this poster can give some message to the public? Really, the thing about these posters is uh, you decide their meaning. So it can just be a meaningless piece of paper or it can actually mean something to you. Uh, someone who's driving by can just, they might not stop and look, they might stop and look and think, hmm, why are these faces here? I wonder what that means. I mean, whether it's art or not is ultimately for you to decide. It's not just the pasting that's part of the project, it's explaining why the posters are here. So right now, this is only one part of the whole project. Taking the pictures is one part. And then usually, you know, explaining to people why the posters are here is usually one of the biggest parts. The Inside Out project also had a new technical element as when it was initially proposed to us. Uh, it was maybe that our school would like to participate in it because we were doing a, a class on street art and we could uh, do a postering project. And as we thought about it, we realized that to have one school do it simply wouldn't be enough. It wouldn't be appropriate for the issues uh, at hand. So my students um, had to reach out into the community. They had to engage with, um, you know, teachers associations, with headmasters, with the students themselves, all who had various concerns about the potential impact uh, the ramifications was this political was it a was it a project that would that would aggravate people we had to communicate the message because for a lot of people you know putting portraits up on a wall may not have a an immediate sense it may not it may not make sense to them that it that it is artistic so my students had to reach out and convince other people of its worthiness and then they had to organize it and so you know 14 schools 270 portraits you know release forms meant going out looking at sites taking lots of photos editing those picking the best ones as as students as artists, as collaborators in a large project, they really uh, demonstrated their ability to organize, to um, use forward thinking and planning, and, and those are things are, which are you know, part of our core curriculum as well. Uh, the Inside Out project allowed us to participate with other artists who were, who were not even present here. Twelve years ago, I was in the street writing my name to say I exist. Then I went to taking photos of people to paste them on the street to say they exist. Paper and glue, as easy as that. It was like leaving a mark on society. I mean, the city is the best gallery I could imagine. We launched the biggest illegal art exhibition ever. Do you know what it takes to do this? People. 
energy, make the glue, organize the team. The people in the street, they are the curator, you know. Most of the places I went to, I decided to go there because I've heard about it through the media. What is the purpose of your project? Are you an NGO? Are you the media? In some way, art can change the world. I mean, art is not supposed to change the world, to change practical things, but to change the perceptions. Art can change the way we see the world. What we see changes who we are. When we act together, the whole thing is much more than the sum of the parts. I have learned a lot from the project. I feel like art can make me to be able to express my um, real feeling and thought. <laughs> we believe that when people see those pictures, people will recognize that there is a, a school here and there are a lot of kids. Who are those kids? And they will become uh, curious and they will become more interested to know about those kids. In Burma, graffiti has stood for freedom of expression, with some Burmese protesting against oppression by writing slogans in defiance of the government on the walls around Rangoon. It may only serve to highlight the underground culture further. <laughs>